That was a Bigfoot. Did you guys see that Bigfoot? That was... All right, what is going on everybody? Andy Gabs back for another vlog. And today, my father is here, sitting on his phone, texting, not paying attention. But we are at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, um, and we kind of came here and surprised Kelsey a little bit. We are gonna be doing like an up close and personal thing with a cheetah. Uh, so I don't remember where I left off, he interrupted me. But yeah, so there's the cheetah that does this like running zip line, or not zip line. So this cheetah like chases a little lure thing. Um, so we got VIP seating for that. And then I guess we do a meet and greet with some sort of African animal, which it didn't explain what it was, um, but it said something from Africa. And then at the end, we get to do like an up close meet and greet with the cheetah. So I'm definitely excited. I know Kelsey's excited. She loves big cats. So we are attempting to find out where to check in for that right now. Okay, so we found where we have to check in for the cheetah safari, but we have like 20 minutes. Uh, so it's right next to where the lion is. Pretty cool. They are never that close to the glass ever, and he's definitely right there. That's definitely pretty cool. Um, I think we can see him a little bit better from over here, though. So I'll turn you guys around and try to get you a good view of him. So yeah, I know I couldn't get the best angle on the giant lion, but he was definitely right there up against the glass. And if you look over my shoulder, right there, right there is the female lion taking a nap. So evidently they don't like to cuddle, but uh, the cheetah safari thing starts in like 10 minutes. So I'll bring you guys back once we go into that. All right, so we just got in to the little VIP cheetah area. Now they're gonna bring out some sort of African animal and then we'll have a good viewing spot for when the cheetah runs, which happens right there. Lots of photos, flash photography, not a problem. Uh, and uh, I want to encourage you to actually ask questions as well. So if there's anything you want to know about our animals or our training, uh, conservation, anything of that nature. Now, uh, this is Bella. And Bella serval. here is an African serval. Now that is spelled S-E-R-V-A-L. They are a small wild cat species found in the grasslands of Africa. So Bella here, great ambassador for her species, will tell you she's a veteran to our ambassador program here. She's 18 years old. Wow. She's been doing this for almost her entire life. Uh, she actually came to live here at the park after she was about two years old, actually with the intention that her and her mate would breed. Uh, and they were very successful. She's actually had three litters of three. It makes it a little easier for our memory to remember those things. Um, and so she's been an excellent mother and an excellent ambassador here with us at the Safari Park. Uh, and it's a great opportunity here at Cheetah Safari to really empower guests just no, like you to learn to Bella. tell the difference. Now, any of Bella. you know right Bella. off the bat what kind of cat this was? Bella. One. Yeah, two. Oh, okay, you guys are shy. A uh, couple of you. Now I'll tell you, we're going to empower you so that all of you can raise your hands next time and you can show off for all those folks around you uh, that are whispering things like, baby cheetah. You can show off for them and say, hey, that's a good guess. We understand why. All right, so the servo was really cool. Uh, now we are just waiting there, setting up the cheetah run itself right now. And then uh, I think they're gonna run a dog, they said, is like a practice round, I guess. Companion. Yeah, it's one of the companion dogs for the cheetah. If you guys watch the zoo video, you know that they have dogs that live with them as companions. So they're gonna run the dog first as like a practice round, and then they'll do the cheetah. So let's get ready. So if you guys ever want to see this uh, cheetah show, well, welcome to all of these people are lined up. And they said usually it's like four different park. rows deep and usually and you can't see sure it. So this is only like 60 bucks a person to come here and there's only the 11 of us land. in here. So right you have a much, much better view. So, so if you're ever at the safari you park and you want to see the cheetahs run, this is the way to do it. All right, so we're going to see the dog first before the cheetah. Look out here. Nothing's going to happen. Very good, you can give her a round. Focus your attention down to Kelly. Again, arm signals, hand up, hand down. I will time this run so you know how fast Ruxa the cheetah is. Wow. Woo! Yeah. 
Wow. That was incredible. Thank you for doing the golf That cheetah is so fast. I hope you guys could see. I don't like. I tried to track it, but oh my god. But five point four seconds. That's not much shy of what they would do out in the wild. A cheetah out in the wild in a full speed pursuit, twenty to thirty seconds, maybe a minute tops. But then a cheetah has to physically rest. Really? So that cheetah is going to be coming in here once it's done, but it might be doing another run. Uh, we're not 100% sure yet. They said they just the kind of check her out, so which the is what they're doing over there now. Um, and then if they feel like he can do another run, I guess, so they'll bring it back down. It we'll do another one. If but they the do, I'll show you guys that run too. And then if not, I'll bring you guys back once she comes in this little area over here. So we'll see. The other thing that the cheetah has that most other cats don't are what we call malar stripes. And it looks like we're ready. Enjoy the run, guys. Insane, to dude. not be able to potentially so walk fast. or run. So she's saying this he cat was diagnosed well. with something so that, that uh, book, normally guys, it wouldn't be able Raina to run or something like that. But obviously you guys saw her life. She actually was she diagnosed run, with cancer years ago. For sure. Overcame so. that. A cancer that no one has back once she actually survived. comes in. So we have, um, unless you know them very, very well. And in this case, we've been working with Bruce since he was a young student. He was actually born right here. I'm sorry, he wasn't born here. He's been here since he was just a few weeks old. But Ruxa was actually born uh, in Oregon at uh, Winston Wildlife Safari up there. And he came here when he was just a few weeks old. Well, we've learned from history that when we want to pair a dog and cheetah, and there's only one dog or one cheetah, that that cheetah doesn't have a playmate at the very essential parts of their young, young, young age. And they have kind of did a little, we said, well, we're going to get the same breed of dog see if they can look similar and Raina can teach a new dog and you know it took some time but these three actually live together all the time leashes and collars come off and they live together all the time so it is a unique relationship they all curl up on the same hammock sometimes too I'm like how do you all fit on that but you do somehow so it looks like we're getting set up you guys for pictures for the cheetah. I will guarantee that we don't guarantee this ever. I had guests come and go, cool. oh, we get to have it. Okay, so that would be like top five coolest rated zoo experiences that I've ever done. Uh, the cheetah was literally like two feet away from us. So I'm gonna roll a bunch of cheetah footage right now. Uh, Bayati, who's one of our cheetahs, loves to think she can go chase birds. Uh, Ruxa doesn't really care about them so really? much. Uh, but typically, no, they're out there literally looking for scraps. Oh, gotcha. Yeah but really did go into it in a lot of detail. So Raina, a few years drive it, and so she has her checkups, but she's doing incredibly well. With the exception of a couple weeks ago, I guess it's almost been a month ago at this point, that she was diagnosed with a, a disease called SARS. Then he realized, Those are my pants. she's really yeah. fun to chase. She's really exciting. And so these two play and play and play and play. Raina can actually relax and kind of hang out and do what she wants to do. So get your last photos. Rooks has done such a great job in here. He's so happy. Um, Shannon's just recently came back from maternity leave. And she, she's one of the primary trainers on him. And he's just like, I'm so happy you're back, Shannon, thanks. Um, so he's a really good cat. So like I was saying, I So if you guys wanted an idea of how much space some of the animals here have, all of that land behind me is all like an open plains area for the animals. So there's rhinos back there, giraffes, gazelle, all kinds of different stuff. And it has all of that area, all that area over there, and then some more area like back over there where everything can kind of just explore and go. So I'll turn you guys around, see if I can zoom in and see anything. Um, but I don't have a zoom lens on right now, so maybe not. If you look really close, right in the middle of the screen, right there, that's a couple rhinos sitting right there. But yeah, this whole entire area, really, really cool that they have that much space. There's that giant balloon you already saw too. All right guys, so now we are in the lemur, oh, there they are. We are in the uh, lemur walk, I believe it's called. And I actually got to do this in Japan too. So if I still have the clip, I'll play it now. I don't know about my fingers. Dude, there's so many monkeys on me right now. Do you guys see this? 
a bunch of them just left now. I just got this dude chilling. Oh, another one. Hey, get out my armpit. There goes. Got this dude just chilling out. My home place. What's up, buddy? This is the coolest place I've ever fucking been. Oh, another one. What's up, bro? Oh, he's grooming me. Just check to see what I got going on. Oh, he found something. This place is fucking incredible. Oh, we got another one. He's checking me out. No, oh, don't bite my phone. There's so many monkeys. Yeah. There's a ringtail lemur right here. He's super skittish. Hey, buddy. There's also a random peacock in here just because. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the clip from the Japan lemurs. Um, a little bit different. Japan doesn't have as many rules, I guess, than compared to the US. Uh, here, you can't really like touch. In Japan, they don't really care. But I will flip you guys around and show you the cute little ringtails. You can see, I think there's like three or four of them right there. Those ones look way smaller though than the ones that I saw in Japan. But they have this big, huge enclosure. There's nowhere near as many of them in here as the one in Japan. In Japan, there was probably a hundred different squirrel monkeys and lemurs. And honestly, the lemurs were kind of mean but definitely really cute. I only see those three. Do you see any more? No. No. I don't see any more. All right, next stop on the adventure is the lorikeet jungle. Well, that's fucking stupid. Sorry, guys. All right, so lorikeet land was closed, which is dumb because the park doesn't close for another half hour. Uh, so we will walk around and attempt to find something else to show y'all. All right, so we are going to see some Oh my god, that was loud. Bats, I guess. Oh yeah, this is cool. Oh wow, it's so warm in here. It feels good. It's like really cold out for San Diego right now. But, oh wow, there's a lot of bats in here. This is cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just hanging out. Ooh. You mad, bro? This guy's like slowly crawling down. He was up there. He's just making his way down. Yeah. Yeah, at night, these guys turn into vampires and suck people's blood. It's a proven fact. He just flew into the wall. All right, yeah, so the ducks, those geese finally walked away, but what the hell is that? What is that? That was a Bigfoot. Did you guys see that Bigfoot? That was crazy. Pro tip, uh, don't come to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park even an hour before it closes because they put away every animal. There's, I think, probably three or four out of the last five enclosures that we went to, the animals weren't even there. And if you guys were curious, Scarlett is here and enjoying her little adventure. She's like sitting there like going like this just looking around at everything. I definitely think she enjoys like all the different colors and all the different scenery changes and everything. She definitely seems curious. All right guys, so I realized I never recorded an outro for the zoo video. Uh, sorry there wasn't more animals, but I hope you guys enjoyed at least the cheetah stuff. It was pretty cool, I think. Everything else was pretty much put away though. After the cheetahs, it kind of sucked. We went to the gorillas, they weren't out and then a few different animals and they were now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, turn the notification bell on so you get notified when I post. There is baby girl. Peace.